What's up everybody? I'm here on a uh, chilly day in Idaho. It's about 20 degrees and I'm working on my 2015 Ford F-150. It has the 2.7 liter and has about 235,000 miles. Now I did a video on this truck when I first bought it and I bought it in July. It's now the very first of February and I haven't done any follow-up videos because well I haven't had any issues. That is until yesterday. I went in and I filled this thing up with gas and I went to leave and I started it. I put it in gear and the truck immediately died. Thankfully I was able to get it started again and uh, come home but every time I came to a stop it died. Now, I don't know exactly what the problem is, but the first thing that I'm going to be looking at are the uh, valves. I know it's common on these direct injection engines for the, the intake valves to just get really dirty. And on a high mileage truck like this, I don't know if they've ever been cleaned. So I went ahead and removed the intake. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning the valves. It, it wasn't too bad getting the intake off. It took me maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And considering, like I said, I'm doing it in about 20 degree weather and um, I've never done it before. So it really wasn't that bad getting it off. In addition to cleaning the valves, I'm gonna go ahead and change the spark plugs. I actually had bought some about a month ago, but I just haven't wanted to change them because it's just been so cold lately. Um, but while I'm in there, I'll probably just go ahead and do that as well. All right, so I'm cleaning these things out the best I can. I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I'm doing. Basically, I'm sticking down anything I can get into those holes. There's really not a whole lot of room, but I got some of these brushes from Harbor Freight. Um, they come with a little loop on the end that I just snipped off and was able to stick it in my drill. I can run that, that down there, you know, spin it. Um, I've tried this brush, it's too big. I can't get it in there. Um, I've even had to use a little pick thing. And then in between, you know, doing whatever I can with those, I'm, I have some of this valve cleaner that I'm spraying on there and that helps a little bit. I'll run in some footage of, you know, the before and after. I'm not getting them quite as clean as, you know, I would probably like. You can do a walnut blasting and you can get them for fairly cheap at Harbor Freight. You know, I think you can get the blaster thing for 25 or 30 bucks. Um, <clears throat> and at this point, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have done that. It may have been a little easier and quicker. I'll go ahead and finish these valves up and then we'll look at the spark plugs. All right, folks, here's the spark plugs as promised. This is the old one. Um, it's definitely dirty. The new one here, obviously looking good. The gap on the old one, I just checked it, it's 0 0.031 or 0 0.31, whatever it is, which is what the new spark plug is as well. So I don't think they're terribly worn out. I don't know how old these are, so let's see if changing them uh, helps with the drivability of the truck. So I got the intake manifold back on and everything back together and it's uh, looking pretty good. As I mentioned, I was using this uh, valve cleaner, you know, in my process, but I still had like, I don't know, half a can, maybe a little over half a can. So I went ahead and used the rest of that can just the way you're supposed to. The way you're supposed to use that stuff is you just turn the truck on, let it idle, and then spray it directly into the intake manifold. Then after the, the bottle's empty, you're supposed to let the truck sit for an hour and then go drive around for a few minutes. 
As I mentioned before, the valves really weren't as dirty as what I thought they might be. Now in the future, what my plan is to do to hopefully avoid quite as much buildup on the valves is one, get a catch can. That's kind of what everybody says you should do with these to begin with. And second of all, that valve cleaner stuff, you're supposed to run it about every 10,000 miles. So I'll probably try to do that, you know, about every 10,000 miles. And I think if you're doing that, it should keep them, you know, clean enough. You shouldn't have too much of an issue. Now I may have more videos on this truck in the future. So if you want to see those, just hit my logo to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.